Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pena, and I'm bringing you today's word for October 20th, 2015. As I thought about this morning, I was like, wow, it's October 20th. Most of the year is already gone. And all year long, we've been studying a series entitled Grace Based Success or Grace Based Prosperity, where we have been learning how to win in life, how to succeed, but how to do it God's way by his unearned and amazing grace. Well, we've been studying the life of the Apostle Peter for the past few months, and our study of his life brought us to Matthew chapter 15. In Matthew 15, Jesus said something to a group of Pharisees and teachers of the law. He scolded them. He called them hypocrites. And Peter wanted further explanation of what Jesus said. So Jesus gave Peter the explanation. And in that explanation, Jesus was basically saying that our words originate from our thoughts or our mind. And it's really uh, what comes out of the mouth that defiles a man, not what goes into the mouth that defiles a man, but really Jesus was focused on the inward man or our thoughts or the importance of our thoughts. He said, the bad things people say with their mouths come from the way they think. Things begin in the mind. And then we went to Romans 12 and two, where Paul said, let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. If, if you wanna become a new person, you have to change the way you think. So. For a couple of weeks now, I've been teaching on renewing the mind, right? And so you know how God deals with me. When I get a thought like that, I just read that one line from Jesus and then I start teaching on that and we teach on it over and over and over again because you need to hear things more than once to get it down in your heart so that you can change, so that I can change, so that we can be the men and women God has called and destined and designed and desires for us to be. So today's message will be the last message in this vein of renewing your mind and then tomorrow we'll move on to something else so today's message is entitled thinking like god you and i we need to learn how to think like god in order to maximize our purpose and potential by god's grace so we must learn to think like god so today's message is, is just uh, overall dealing with the concept of mind renewal so i have eight things to share with you and let's get into them number one now you do not come to God with a blank slate. You, you really need to at least acknowledge that, that when you came to God, you didn't come to him with a blank slate. The day you were born again, you already had a certain mindset. I know I was 23, I'm from Brooklyn. I was, I, you know, I had a certain mindset and I needed my mind to be renewed. Uh, you, you were already shaped, you were already programmed to think a certain way when you come to God. And chances are, that that mindset that you brought to God was not a mindset that's conducive to God working in your life. It's not a mindset that's conducive to flowing in the grace of God and to, to flowing with God's word and his will and his way. Uh, so what that did was that that then put you in a position to where you needed a change, right? So although your spirit was made new, your mind wasn't. And so now here you are born again with stinking thinking and now you're in a position where you need to change and your mind needs to change. You have to change the way you think. Number two, your mind was not changed. Once again, the day you were born again, you see, you are a spirit, you possess a soul and you live in a body. So the day you were born again, the true you, which is your spirit, was born again. But your soul was not. And so your soul, which is comprised of your mind, your emotions, your will, your mind, the way you think, your emotions, the way you feel, your will, the way you make decisions, your thinker, your feeler, your chooser, your soul was not changed. And so you are, you were born again, you have, you are a new person, you have a new spirit, but you need a new mind. And at that point, you have to submit yourself to the process of mind renewal. Number three, learning and unlearning. See, some things you must learn be, because they were completely new to you. When, you. when you were born again, you didn't know about the things of God, so you're learning God. You're learning his character, his attributes, his nature. You're learning his word, his will, his way. You're learning things from, about God that you don't know. So there's many things you have to learn, but watch this. There's also many things you have to unlearn. Things that, that you already have been programmed to do that were not godly. So at that point, or not conducive to becoming the man or the woman God called you to be. So you have to, in order for you to be fully programmed to be like God, what you actually have to do is also be deprogrammed to be like the world. So you have to be deprogrammed and then reprogrammed so that you could become the person God called you to be. So you got learning and unlearning to do. Number four. If you don't change the way you think, you're just not going to change. You, you can be born again and have God himself living down on the inside of you and still live a defeated life because you're defeated in your mind. 
you, you don't get to succeed in life. You don't get to experience God's best unless you flow with him, unless you align with him. Now, powerful things happen when you make an alignment with God's divine assignment for your life. But for, in order for you to make that alignment, you have to change the way you think. You have to allow or, or line up your thinking with God's thinking. Number five, closing the gap. You got to close the gap. When you come to God, there's a distance. There's always this gap between the way you see yourself in your future and the way God sees you and your future, right? And so there's this gap, there's this distance between your opinion of you and God's opinion of you and renewing your mind closes the gap. Renewing your mind puts you in alignment. Renewing your mind lines you up with God's will. That's why you have to renew your mind. Number six, here's a real important point. Don't be afraid of losing anything. When, when, you're, when you're going through the process of mind renewing, you start walking with God, God is going to tell you to let some stuff go. There's some stuff you have to let go, right? Why you, keep, why you tell me you moved, but I keep finding you at your old address? <laughs> because your mind hasn't changed. And so in order for you to fully change and for, to develop and to grow and to experience God's best, there's some things you're going to have to let go. And some people don't want to let stuff go because they're, they're afraid that if I let this go, I'm giving up something for God. If I, if I let this go, I'm giving that up and I might lose out. I might lose out. I don't want to. Let me tell you something. You don't want to hold on to anything God is telling you to let go of. You should only want what God wants for your life. So if he's telling you to let it go, let it go. You don't want to. If he tells you to let it go, you don't want it. Because if you hold on to it now it's, and he told you to let it go, then that thing is now becoming a hindrance and not a help in your life. You want to let go of whatever God tells you to let go. You want to embrace everything God tells you to embrace. And don't be afraid of losing anything. Come on now. If God tells you to let it go, then that's going to become a seed. And God will see to it that you receive a harvest. God will never be in debt to you. If he tells you to let it go, then let it go. And you expect to receive a harvest for the seed that you released. Number seven. Renew your mind to truly accept the grace of God. I, I've been teaching on grace now for years. And so you have to renew your mind to really accept the grace, to embrace the grace. See, before you came to God, you probably had plans, right? I'm sure you did. Had plans for your life. And part of that was, you know, you saying, well, I need to go pursue this and I need to work hard and, you know, working by the sweat of our brow. And you probably thought that you had to work hard for everything you were going to get in life. But now that you're born again and now that you're learning about the grace of God and the great plans God made for you from the foundations of the world and, and, and God is saying, I just need you to believe me for it, not necessarily work for it. Not, not, not that you're not going to work because God doesn't bless lazy people, but, but what I'm saying is that you're not earning this thing, right? So you're receiving it and then you go and work not for grace, you're working by grace. It's a completely different mindset. And it's, it's hard, it's difficult sometimes when you first get born again or, or if your mind hasn't been re renewed to really accept the grace of God. God is good. God wants to bless you. Why does God want to bless you? Because God is good. Not necessarily because of everything you've done right and, and, and not, of course, because of all the things you've done wrong. God just wants to bless you because God wants to bless you. And when, you're not, when your mind is not renewed, that's, it's hard to accept the goodness of God. Renew your mind so you can open your heart to the goodness of God. God wants to bless you because God wants to bless you. And number eight and finally, accept God's grace and then live by faith. You will not experience what you are not expecting. Let me say that again. You will not experience, not a, at least on a consistent basis, what you are not expecting. So the Lord has dreams for your life. He fashioned those dreams from the foundations of the world. And now he wants you to renew your mind so you can dream God-sized dreams. He wants you to renew your mind so you can enter every day with great expectations so that you can expect the manifestation of God's best in your life. The dream won't be realized with more trying. The dream is going to be realized with more dying. You die to self. You decrease. You get out of the way and then you get to experience the grace of God. It's God's grace and you pursue it with your faith. That's how you win in life. So let's close this out with a declaration of faith. Repeat after me in faith from a believing heart. Say, Father, I thank you for teaching me about your grace. And also my requirement to live by faith. You love me with an everlasting love. You made plans for me before the foundations of the world. You freely planned to give me 
your best by your grace. However, you do require me to renew my mind. The day I was born again, my spirit was made new, but my mind was not. My mind must be changed to think the way you think so I can become the person I am called to be. By faith, I declare that I submit to the process of mind renewal. I see myself the way you see me. I freely accept all you want to do in my life by your amazing grace. I die to self so you can live through me. And the more I do, the more you bless me to dream God-sized dreams. I accept your dreams, the dreams you plant in my heart, and I pursue them by faith. As I do, my testimony is, I am who you say I am. I can do what you say I can do, and I will accomplish all I am destined to accomplish while I am in the earth, in the land of the living. Not because I'm so good, but only because you're so good. Not because I'm worthy, but only because of your grace. So I think like my God, and I am able to flow with the unforced rhythms of grace. I declare this by faith. In Jesus' name, amen. This is today's word. Apply it and prosper. If you're not getting these messages, go to todaysword.org. Look on the right-hand side of the website. Sign up. Get the messages. They're going to be a blessing to you. As you head into this day, just remember, you have to change the way you think in order to flow with God and his amazing grace for your life. God bless you.